जय श्री माता जी ऑनलाइन उपस्थित सभी साधकों का हम स्वागत करते हैं सर्वप्रथम सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे तीन महामंत्र और श्री गणेश मंत्र का उच्चारण करेंगे माता जी कृपावंत होकर हमें संतुलन अवस्था प्रदान कीजिए माता जी कृपावंत होकर हमें निर्विचार अवस्था प्रदान कीजिए Thank mm-hmm. you. 
इसी अवस्था में हम परम पूज्य श्री माता जी की अमृत वाणी को ग्रहण करेंगे नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू ओपन दिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी सीकर बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स आई स्टडीड ऑल्सो द परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन फ्रॉम विच यू ऑल आर इन अ वे सफरिंग ऑल्सो द टाइम हैड कम आई फेल्ट हॉरेबल गुरुज हु आर रियली डेवल्स आर ट्राइंग टू कैप्चर ऑल द सीकरस I thought it's high time that Sastra Raj should be opened up. It was not like Christ crucifixion by any chance. In those days, <coughs> one had to do lot of tapasya, and that's what. he went through but in these modern times what you know is much more important than what you do it is such a <coughs> universal awareness now because of maybe medias because of communications because of traveling <coughs> that a human mind knows a lot it knows so much sometimes that its brain cannot even bear it it is so overloaded with ideas and also the human mind is all the time anxious to grasp absorb and retain whatever he thinks is knowledge <coughs> but he lacks discretion so all kinds of things are accumulated in his brain in the modern times especially with the with the advent of all these media like television computers not a media but it's quite a complicated brain again the man had to know the technique of all these things very much and this technique if he <coughs> understood he could do many things many more things than your forefathers could thus materialism started taking its own development in the minds of people so the curse of human beings at that time was materialism when i felt that sastrara must be opened up before that people were a simple innocent they all believed in god they never doubted and <clears throat> they didn't even seek the truth this must materialism created such a competition among human beings such hypocrisy that people started finding out that this is not honest materialism is not joy giving you can't get peace out of materialism just it started developing into their awareness that this is not the end of our achievement this is not what we have to no this is not what is going to give us joy and peace especially after war this awareness started growing very much among young people
this is also because now the human awareness had reached the state of the brain. That's how they started knowing better, absorbing better and retaining better. You take a little child of today, he knows much better than you would have known when you were even twenty-five years of age. Because he's supposed to know about everything. And thus, there was no movement towards knowing what is the truth. But as this awareness grew more and more, lots of seekers were created on this earth. So many people who never knew they were seekers suddenly became seekers. It's an atmospheric effect, I should say. And thus a new category of people were born, became aware that they have to find out the truth. So it was all simultaneously according to the time that Sahasrara was to be opened up. And thus this happened. For us Sajogis, of course, Sahasrara is the biggest event. Or we should say, whatever work all the incarnations have done, all the seers and saints and prophets have done, this is the culminating point. They did it in, for individuals, but to do for masses, that it should go to every nook and corner of this world is the ultimate end of all spiritual growth all over, in every religion, through every great incarnations and prophets. What they indicated about future, what they talked about, what you are <coughs> to know yourself, that you have to find yourself, that you have to become a realized soul, that you should have atma sakshatkar, that you should be a vali. All these indications, even the Buddhist, know that matraya has to come, matraya, ma is mother three times, trigunatmika. Even the Greeks, had Athena with three powers in her. So all of them have been predicting about this time and that time came. And that's how I call it the blossom time and the fruits that are you people. So it is all so much. We can say in the cosmic cycle, of different seasons, this beautiful time has come and like the wheel of time has to turn and go further, Sahaja Yoga started, of course in a very small way, but has now grown so big all over the world. Here now, <coughs> there's another thing that has happened, which is rather remarkable, that so far people used to meditate alone and maybe one of them might get realization. But there was no phenomena of Amas realization nor of Amas meditation in those days. 
they all used to disappear into some nook and corner of a quiet place where they would sit down and meditate. But this Amas realization, Amas meditation, Amas understanding and learning about your being was not even imagined by me that it would go to such a limit, to such an extent, with leaps and bounds. This year especially, it has taken a very new dimension, I think, everywhere, and all that is negative is being exposed in most of the countries. So this is how, when the Sahasrara opened, the Kundalini started moving towards this Divine Power, getting connected with it and was all the time flowing within you, when the Nirvikalpa state came. Now when it is coming through the Sahasrara, one has to know that the Sahasrara has to be clean so that the flow of Divine Power is going, penetrating without any obstacle, without getting impure, without getting into any kind of problems. So to get to that level, to that state, all the Sajogi, I'm happy to know, are trying to work it out, their own individual meditations also, so that this growth should take place. Thus, you get enlightenment in a full way. But then one must ask why, for what? What's the purpose? What's the aim? The aim is, your aim is lost. You don't seek for aims at all anymore. This pendal was built with such great ability for which we didn't pay anything. Everybody was working here day and night in the rainy season and I was quite worried about them. I said, what's the matter? Just, we are enjoying, Mother, we are enjoying, I'm not enjoying. We are enjoying the rain, all right. We are enjoying the cold, all right. Enjoying everything, lifting all these heavy things, everything we are enjoying. I was quite surprised at them. Nobody had any complaints, but everybody was just on the war path build, building this tent for them. So what happens? Once your sastrara is clean, this flow of joy, doesn't allow you even to think that you are exerting or you are working. Normally if you tell somebody that this is to be erected, oh, <laughs> some would faint and some would say, uh, this will take at least one year. <laughs> then they'll start giving excuses, this pole is no good, that is no good, it won't stand that, there's nothing, there's nothing. Ultimately you'll find nothing is done, it will lie like this for years together. You better get another person, you better buy another one, everything is postponed all the time and nothing is done. But here you don't feel you are doing anything. When you don't feel you are doing anything, how can you say then why? Because I'm not doing any, anything in any way, so I don't ask question why, do I? <clears throat> in any case, I'm not doing anything. 
that is the state where you are working in the divine plan you are <coughs> doing lot of work but nobody feels they are doing anything they all think we are absolutely just enjoying ourselves doing nothing this kind of a state is the blessing of sastra because only in your brain you think all these things labor saving devices i mean you tell anybody you go and telephone to this person immediately if it's a madden bond he will say he may not be there god knows what's the use telephone may not be all right oh, but you see why don't you see if the telephone is all right or not before that only he will give this hundred and one explanations that it may not be all right it may be something may be wrong and just labor saving first that is one of the tricks of the brain then this intelligence cheats all the time it gives you rationality for everything like a person kills his father you ask him why did you kill why not he was so old he was suffering and i wanted to have all the property so i thought better kill him <laughs> like uh, queen victoria became very old so her uh, her son was to think that i'll never become a king if this lady goes on like this so the brain starts giving lots of explanation and cheat because rationality it gives rationality and rationality is nothing but ego or your conditioning your ego tells you no this is no good so you stick on to that point this is not good then another can ask you why it is not good i think it is not good so i think or like some say i believe but why but in sahaja yoga answer is simple why do you do it i enjoy it what's the next answer why are you worried i am enjoying it now the people who also say like that because of their conditioning oh i am enjoying it somebody will say i enjoy my drink somebody can say i enjoy my going to the church i sometimes i say going something else is like that he they are enjoying something which according to sahaja yoga we do can never enjoy but that enjoyment is not collective that is not supported by anyone for example somebody says i enjoy drinking nobody has erected any temple or any statue of a man who drinks have you seen anywhere in the whole world so though he may say that i enjoy it has no sanction from the society people can say i enjoy stealing people can say i enjoy killing but it is very arbitrary it is very individual and never supported by the society even by the modern society and there's always reaction to it but sahaja yoga is not like that when you say i enjoy you say it because you have no ego and you have no conditioning it's a different situation because now the sastra is opened so on one side your ego has gone down another side your conditioning is finished you are no more condition like you talk to a catholic so i started talking about christ immediately said mother now please i said i am talking about christ not about catholicism talking of christ why are you frightened about mother we shouldn't become catholic again you know that's why we are worried about baba christ never started catholicism so much so 
they have developed a kind of a deconditioning of their minds that they start seeing that whatever these people have done so far was wrong and that whatever I have done so far was absolutely wrong and I do, I'm not going to do it. It's a very common thing. I have seen the people who have worshipped Christ prefer to worship Ganesha and those who have worshipped Ganesha prefer to worship Christ. Just the same. The name is different but just the same but they like it. Because Christ means the priest, the confessions, uh, rosaries, and also symmetries. So they don't want to have. These conditionings itself start showing their own forms, like devils, and Sajogis want to avoid it, or have nothing to do with them. I remember in the beginning we had or six, seven hippies from England and they had come to Rauri. We were having a program. And there were five, six real hippies. These were hippies became Sajogis. Real hippies came to the program. I was just sitting like this and suddenly they said, Oh no! I said, What has happened? I started to <laughs> As if some snake has entered or what has happened? They were hippies. But with this deconditioning of the conditions, they just couldn't bear those same hippies that they were coming inside. Because you start seeing clearly, very clearly, that all these conditionings had blinded us completely and it's mis misled us into a wilderness. Of course, about ego, in the West people are extremely conscious. There was a leader's wife, I said, why don't you help your husband? She said, Mother, I am worried my, about my ego. I said, why? If I start doing some work, this ego might develop again, so I am rather worried. They are so conscious of it that this ego should not come back. One fellow who came to me and I was talking to him, then he just ran away. I said, what happened? So he said, no, those people who go close to mother always develop very bad ego. I don't want to be there close for with her. So, it's a, such, a, <laughs> such a mind <laughs> that sees madness, that sees insanity, that sees immaturity, it sees vulgarity, it sees deceit, hypocrisy, everything so clearly. And in that state he gets confused and quite upset, wants to run away from it. Then we have some Sajogis who have such problems, who come to Sahaja Yoga with problems. Then these people see the with these problems they are still continuing. Now the Sastrara doesn't want to accept it. It's terrible. I was like him. No, 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 no more. Me, I don't want to be that. So uh, they abhor the person who was just like them. They just can't bear him. They just can't tolerate. Then I would say, still you have to grow. You have to grow. Your sastrara has to be cleansed out such a, at such a speed, at such a level and stage that like soap cleanses everything, it should cleanse everything else. Should not be afraid of anything. Should not have any worry about the conditionings of others or ego of others. That is the state now we have to reach. Today is the Sastra day, is the twenty-third Sastra day. And I shouldn't expect much 
I don't want to say anything much about it. But I wish and I hope that all the thousand petals of your sastras will be so cleansed that you will never catch from anybody, you will never be frightened of anybody, you will be masters of all kinds of curatives and also you will be the one who can give solace, peace to others. You will be the one who will be organizing programs outside. You will be the one who will be responsible for such work. And when that happens, then we can see that these thousand petals of the Sastrara have opened out. These thousand petals are not yet awakened. They signify the different thousand powers of the Goddess. Minimum of minimum. These thousand ones, you can open out yourself by introspection, by looking at yourself, making fun of yourself. Know thyself means know yourself with all the defects you have and also the potential you have and all the good points you have. So as far as you are concerned, when you are looking at yourself, you should just see to the defects that you have. Why do I behave like this? Why do I assert so much? What's the problem? Why can't I see myself clearly? With that transparency of your sastrara, you can see your heart, you can see your mind, you can see yourself fully, clearly. What's wrong with you? This transparency can come only if you have really the pure desire, Shuddha Icha, to be of that level. Now there is no competition between A and B. We don't say that you got the first prize for coming out of the Sastra. <laughs> Or we don't say, you have the second prize. There's nothing like first, second in Sajwa. Because we are not running the race. There's no competition between us. Whatever we are doing is for our own satisfaction. Now think of something. There are five people who are running. Now they have to think out of these five people who goes first. Here it is the other way now. The five people are meditating. Now everyone individually has to see for himself if he satisfies himself or not. Nobody else is going to give a certificate. It is you who has to give certificate to yourself, honestly. A very different position. It is you, your sastrara, and your attention. And you have to see within yourself how far have I realized my own powers, my own compassion, my own personality. <coughs> you will have to. Test it yourself. It is who you are the one who decides 
when you are the one who is running it is you are the one who decides without running then what is the question of competition <coughs> the whole thing disappears into nothing as i told you the other day an analogy that if you are looking at the mirror then you are the one who is observing the your reflection is the one that is observed and there is the action of seeing so you are in three dimension but supposing you become the mirror yourself the whole process is reversed you see yourself you don't have to see because you are seeing it all the time it's just spontaneous in the same manner when it comes to sastrara it is your sastrara itself gives you the full idea as to how you are the diagnosis comes from your own sastrara your own sastrara tells you what centers are catching because all the pitas of the seven centers are in the sastrara as if the sastrara is now watching you sir and reporting to you see this is wrong with you this is wrong with you this is wrong with you. so sastrara being the best well wisher that you have gives you the right information about yourself so the best is that you correct yourself so then achieve that perfect state that is what you have to do but once you have achieved the perfect state you have achieved your aim you have no aim left like the lights now till you have to make the lights you have to work hard make the lights put them right to everything that is necessary but once it is made and the light comes into it then the job of the light is to give the light so the first function is over now the second function is to give it back you reach your aim your destination for example i had to come here all right so i come all the way from my my house walk, come in the car walk in and come and sit down here now i's finished that part over now i don't have to walk otherwise i'll be all the time running so all this mad race of this brain stops for what should it be used now for enjoying the peace for enjoying the joy for enjoying the collectivity so the labor or the hard work or you can also say the planning of the future finishes off only thing now you have got it so better enjoy it it's like you are coming from outside you are running you are very hungry you want to reach home once you reach home then the food is served to you now what's your aim nothing but to enjoy the food for which you are running but after that also if you start running then one should say it is absolute stupidity but the capacity of enjoyment only comes when your sastrara is absolutely open otherwise the capacity to enjoy is much less and you become like a person who is running all the time after something 
which you never achieve. There are many like that. All their lives they are like mad, you know. They are working morning till evening, every day, achieving nothing. Next day again get up, again running. All their lives running like that. Till their foot is in the grave, they are still running. But after getting to Sajwa, you stop all these activities and leave it to your Sajoga to work, at, uh, to your Sastrara to work it out. And it works out. You don't have to rush, you don't have to be so competent, you don't have to write down everything, you don't have to think of planning everything, just everything works out. And it works out beautifully. The only thing that one has to do is to accept whatever is happening for our good. Even in small, small things. For today's delay in the puja is the desire of some people who wanted to give you some sort of a… I shouldn't say that, but some uh, secret show was going to be there. And they didn't want any light. So they were thinking what will happen, the puja will be over by about five, then by six o'clock they will eat their food, but the sun would be there after nine o'clock. Then how can we show this? All right? So have it in the night. <laughs> Every small thing you will see. Some people were coming from India and they had to bring my two boxes from there and they wouldn't allow these boxes. They said, it is overweight, overweight. So they didn't know what to do. They thought that they should send them back and later on it can go till Guru Puja or somewhere. But they thought that there must be some plan, must be some drama. The plane was late, nineteen hours. So they thought there must be some drama. And then they were put into some sort of a tourist uh, hotel for that night. Next morning they met two other Indians from Sajogis from uh, Pune, two boys. That settled it. My luggage, they could put it in their name and that's how the luggage came in. But they never felt bored nineteen hours we had nice time with that together, we were enjoying and talking, finished. Nobody feels that time is passing out, otherwise anybody else would have eaten up all the airport personnel. I would have broken all the telephones. Waiting for nineteen hours, my God, what is this? Would have given it in the newspapers, everywhere, it's the greatest crime while these were enjoying life nicely. So we have lost now the sense of aim, we don't have any aims, we just want to enjoy. It's a very, very big thing that has happened because, as you know, the joy in the Sastrara is Nirānanda, Nirānanda. Of course, Nira is my name also, but it means pure, absolute joy, Nirānanda. And that Nirānanda, that joy has no other use, it's just pure, pure joy. Without thinking, it just pours into it. After all, every activity is for what? For getting some sort of a pleasure, sensation and also some people believe for joy. It's not. Only after the opening of Sahasrara and the cleansing of it, then you know what is joy. You can't explain how you can spend hours together like this. People don't understand. Like even our mayor, was telling me that we can't sit in the church for more than fifteen minutes 
and how people are sitting here for so many hours. Fifteen minutes we cannot sit, but how these people are sitting for such a long time? What are they doing there? What is their entertainment? How can they sit for hours together without saying anything, without uh, dropping even a pin there, just all the time there? So what have we given them? What is happening to them? This is very surprising and remarkable that these people who are not even surgeons can see clearly that you people are least bothered, you are absolutely enjoying that. Whatever you may be doing is not important. What is important is that whether you are working in the office or outside, you are, you are full of joy, enjoying everything. This is the most important thing in life, which you can have only through Sahaja Yoga, because your sastras are open, because they are open. There is now one more thing I have to tell you <coughs> that is very important for all of you to remember, that while living in this ocean of joy, we have to remember that there are many who have not yet jumped into it. So we have to bring them in and it's such a pleasure, such a joy <coughs> to give Realization to someone, extremely joyful. So we need people who would come and say that we definitely come for this… Uh, I mean, they should really come forward. <coughs> and once they come forward, you'll be amazed how things will work out. There are many I know who are going all over, everywhere, and spreading Sahaja Yoga. So it's very important for all of you to know that you have got the light to be given to others, come forward. Don't have fear of your ego, conditioning is nothing, come forward. You have all the strength, you have everything within yourself and you will do everything with such happiness and joy. Everywhere, in every country people are doing that, but some of them are doing, some of them are not doing. All of you are quite capable of doing it, so please come forward and see for yourself what you are capable of. First of all, you should have faith in yourself. If you have no faith in yourself, you cannot do anything. Have faith. To have no fears of any kind and also to introspect, to see within yourself what's going on. To be very frank, I find my brain absolutely empty. What I talk from this emptiness, I don't know. You will also find your brain absolutely empty and still, with that empty brain, you will be achieving a lot. It's very remarkable, as you have seen that from the candle you get cool breeze. How can you get from the candle cool breeze? You do get. So it's important to recognize yourself as a Sahaja Yogi and to recognize what have you done for Sahaja Without doing for Sahaja Yoga, you cannot enjoy life. That was your aim and that's the aim you have reached. Now if you don't… supposing I have to come and sit on this thing and I don't sit on this thing, then what's the use of coming here? I came here to tell you something about Sahaja And if I don't tell you, then what's the use of my coming here and celebrating Sahaja Day? In the same way, when you have reached that state now, what you have to do is not to use for your own purpose. You have used it quite a lot for your health, wealth, everything. Now, what are we doing about Sahaja Yoga? What have we done for Sahaja Yoga? 
After some time you will do a lot and you will never know you have done anything for such a while. Very surprising it happens to so many of you and should happen to all of you. I hope all of you will realize that your sastaras are clean, completely, you are perfectly all right, you don't have to worry about it and you can really go ahead with spreading of such a May God bless you. निशब्द ध्यान में बैठते हैं
परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब एक प्रतिभाशाली व्यक्तिमत्व बन जाए श्री माता जी आपकी परम कृपा में हम सब आपके श्री विराट स्वरूप के अंग प्रत्यंग बन जाए अपनी ध्यान धारणा और सामूहिक कार्य की तपश्चर्या से हम श्री आदि शक्ति के एक प्रभावी और प्रभावशाली माध्यम बन जाए परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आज का यह सामूहिक ध्यान हम आपके श्री चरणों पर समर्पित करते हैं कृपावंत तो होकर हम सबको और इस संपूर्ण विश्व को आशीर्वादित कीजिए श्री माँ को प्रणाम करेंगे और सामूहिकता में कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेंगे आज का यह ध्यान केंद्र यही संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी